Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm going to talk about when somebody goes radio silent. Okay, um, that seems to be the term people use these days. Um, now, given today is May 31st, 2020, and you know we have the pandemic going on and all the all of these uh, protests, and some are quite violent. Um, I am watching those and paying attention. Uh, well, these days the, I'm talking about the protest. I'm, I'm watching. I'm staying up real late at night and watching it and um, seeing what's going on. And uh, as a sociologist, of course, I would be interested. In them. I've made one video, a couple of videos, um, one for two channels, and uh, they're kind of premature to say what all I think about it. As a sociologist, of course. You know. uh, but anyway, during this time. Now, because of this stay at home for the pandemic, you know, many people are staying at home, many people aren't going out, um, you know, unless they have to, to work or to, you know, whatever is essential. Some people aren't, some people are just going out, um, but those who are, a lot of their interactions with other people would be online, or um, they watch, uh, if they like watching videos, and videos don't, they're not just all on um, YouTube, they're on different social media, and a lot of people, they, you know, not, I don't know how many, I don't have any statistics on how many and all that, but, you know, people who do, like, enjoy the videos, um, they get a feeling for the person that, they, you know, person or people they like to watch, and, um, you know, you can watch a variety. Now, some people, like me, like me, definitely like me. I don't have like, you know, you can't depend on me to have a video every day. Um, some days I just don't. So I, th I think after a while, people have gotten used to that. Um, that you know, there are days, could be a week or more, um, usually not, that I don't make any videos. So for me to be silent for a few days, you know, they understand that that's how I do. So you kind of get the the pattern of the other person, uh, the person you're watching. So you know what to kind of expect, okay? Okay, and this is it's the same way in life outside of, you know, life offline in your real world. You know, it's all real world, but I didn't mean to say that. And uh, what people used to call, I don't know if they still do, IRL, you know, in real life. Um, and you, like if you work with somebody and you work, you know, some people, they take off a lot of time and some people don't. Um, some people are there every day. So if somebody that's there every day and on the job never misses a day um, and they suddenly, they don't show up, you get concerned. You know, that's radio silence in a way. They, they uh, I think that term is cute. But they, you know, something's not right for them to not show up. Okay, so you would wonder, you know, wonder about it. And, um, you know, if you're, especially if you're the supervisor or manager, the one they call in to, you know, to t call in sick, yeah, you would be concerned. So, now, that, that can also happen online. And, um, you know, if somebody is one that consistently makes at least one video a day, say days go, you know, even it could be, you know, they make at least one per day and say so there could be one day they don't make any video at all and you're kind of a little bit concerned especially like I'm saying during this time during the pandemic and um, so many other things you know if you know this person is out there has to work isn't feeling well whatever there there might be a reason you you're kind of a bit concerned now okay, so having said all that what about people <clears throat> who are more you know some would just some too much is piled under narcissism, you know, narcissistic behavior. Um, I tend to see a narcissistic histrionic blend, but these days I'm noticing more and more that uh, it's more like um, psychopathic. Some of the behaviors, um, but just so you know, what are you going to say? Um, some of it is hedonistic and so so on and so forth. And, um, but what about the people who 
have learned how to control people. Okay, we used to just call them control freaks. Or uh, people who use people. Users. You know. However it is for their own means. Often it's money. Sometimes it's just attention. And uh, they, they've learned various ways to do this. Okay, and this is what I want to talk about. Okay, and given as it is today, pardon my view, the view you see, um, but I'm not going anywhere, so, um, anyway, I'm doing my videos like this today, get outside a little bit, but anyways, you know, some people, now that, what, what made me think about it, for one thing, was that there was a, this man, he makes videos at least one every day, usually more than one every day, and in one of his videos, he's an older man, and one of his videos, something made me, you know, think, hmm, and, you know, kind of question something. And then the next day, he didn't make any videos. And it wasn't until sometime the next day after that. And uh, that in that time, I wondered, ooh, did something happen? Okay, that, that's normal to wonder about people, to worry about people, to be concerned for people. That's, that's rather normal. And, uh... So that's what made me, you know, think about all this with radio silence, because I was like, wow, radio silence after he did this video on this topic, was he, was somebody, <clears throat> you know, and of course, you know, somebody who's very extremely consistent with it, not like me, <laughs> you know, I'm consistent and not being consistent, <clears throat> but somebody like that, that is very consistent, and, and given the whole situation, it, there is a cause to ponder, is this a, a situation is this or that. It's not paranoia, it's just, you know, how things added up. Of course, it was, well, let's wait and see if the next day happens if he puts up a video, and he did. Because every time, you know, people need breaks. You know, they're, they're the type that do them every day. Um, they need breaks. So, yeah. But like I said, there are some out there, they plan it. Plan it. They plot and plan how and why they're going to do certain things, okay? And they're, they're not really the type so much to leave a cliffhanger, okay? No, it's usually just total, you know, all of a sudden, radio silence. You're not going to hear from them. No, no leading up to what may have happened or anything like that. It's just silence. All right, now, why would they do that? Like I said, just in this video, um, some of it could be for money and or attention, and there are other reasons, of course. But, um, you know, say whatever service they use, they have a way, way or ways people can pay them. Okay, give, donate money, give them money, um, pay for a service, um, like the Patreon, and, uh, which is, you know, you pay for it be, to be able to see their videos and see what's going on. And, um, you know, that you can pay to your, their PayPal. Uh, you know, some people, like if you comment and try to say, are you okay? You know, maybe they, they're, they're doing these videos on a regular basis. And they go radio silent. And they will, um, you know, the person will just suddenly stop, you know, radio silent. And... But they have a PayPal open, or they have a Patreon, or they have, um, you know, people will leave them comments asking what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong. And some of the people would feel, um, you know, very concerned, had gotten really wrapped up in this person and might try other ways, you know, emails or something, and they're being ignored. They're just totally being ignored because this person is doing it on purpose. Okay, this person wants them to give, to d give money somehow, some way. Like, you know, the person that's really tuned in to him, pardon the pun, um, you know, would think, oh, okay, if I donate and then I can write a comment in the donation, then that maybe they would answer. You know, they just get so, you know, feel so much anxiety. Uh, I would never do that. I would never suggest anybody do that. But um, some people would. So they know how to work it. That this is their way of working it, um, you know. And that also gives them, if it's not about money, often it is. 
Uh, it's about attention. They're grabbing, uh, trying to grab some attention, and they really want to see how people feel about them. You know, will anybody go that extra mile to try to get in touch with them, try to find out what's going on, be that concerned, and they they thrive off of that. Um, you know, so much of tension that is in the concerned way. Okay, they thrive off of it. Now you can see how manipulative that is and how bad that could be that somebody's that mani manipulative. And uh, it, it could be bad for the person too. You know, especially during time of pandemic, you know, maybe there's somebody who's alone or often alone, uh, whatever is the case. And, um, you know, something could have happened to them. All right. It actually happened to them. But if they do that, you know, that there's the problem right there. That something, you know, one of the problems that something could happen to them. And nobody would know. Nobody would think to check or some, you know, along this line. Um, you know, somebody outside of it. And maybe that's what they're, they're looking for to see, you know, who would. Who would go, you know, who would question, who would, whatever. It, that's an awful um, grab for attention, way to grab attention, but I, th I think some people, now on the other side of this, some people who have been in, <clears throat> you know, like a dysfunctional family or uh, fr family or friends, and uh, if something goes on, that they might do that to try to see, are these people actually into me, you know, that kind of thing, are they actually that concerned about me? Um, if that's a, I don't think it's a good way, um, but to see how concerned others would be. You know, if, if, and some people, they're the givers. They are always giving, giving, giving to other people. And um, they might step back a moment and say, are these people actually going to give back to me? Are they going to be concerned for me? Like I just said. Um, and, and in some ways, that might be a way to find out. But I don't know how healthy I would say that is, but... Yeah, that's, a, that's another video, a to, totally separate video. But these people who do this, they're, they're trying to get money uh, or and or attention or whatever. Uh, yeah, they, they make it bad for the people who are, you know, legit. Something really is wrong with them. And maybe people do need to check up on them if it's all online. Because, you know, like say somebody who lives alone and uh, during a pandemic and maybe they, you know, some people don't have anybody. They don't, they know, they went no contact with their family. They, they realized their previous relationships were very abusive. Um, dysfunctional family, friends, and they learned the wrong way. I mean, I don't want to blame the victim, um, but that's all they knew. And, you know, and or they're in an abusive relationship and uh, something happens. You know, often, quite often, some, there's at least one person who really knows the, you know, like, I can't say that's 100% off, you know, across the board, but quite often, from what I've heard, at least some somebody <clears throat> not in the same household know, knows where that person lives or that has their phone number or something can check up on them. Um, I have somebody who can check up on me. So, you know, that's online also. is watching their videos, like we're talking about videos right now. Um, so the people who do that, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so in a way, this is what you would call the silent treatment. Um, now, see, I had heard that silent treatment was a different way. That, that's when, now, that's when somebody really does you wrong. And um, for some, it's kind of more like we call it no contact. What's the difference between no contact and the silent treatment, right? It's usually the no contact is the person is actually being abused by the one that's... the silent treatment type but um but when I was younger the silent treatment was more like it there was like a stereotype that it was a husband and wife and the husband was doing wrong by the woman and she just said okay silent treatment you see she just wouldn't speak mm -mm, no I'm not talking to you that's what it was when I was young but these days no it's, it's more of the narcissist is the one that does the silent treatment but yeah this now radio silent um Radio silence. Yeah, for people who are online. Okay, and, and some would call this a cash grab. 
Yeah, that I, I know. Right now, I've uh, gotten the hint that more than one person is doing this. More than one person making videos. Um, you know, content creators. Um, yeah, more than one person, and, and that happens. That tend to that can happen. They can do it for months. They can do it for a long, long while. Uh, as long as they're somehow getting money, you know, uh, they'll continue, and then they'll pop back in for a little while, and um, then do, you know, allow the rinse, re repeat. But the thing about it is, eventually, you would think people would catch on, and they do. The, the people they had before would catch on, eventually. But that's that's the whole thing with them. It's a, um, you know, some people learn, and then they walk away. Then there's a new group, and <clears throat> of course, you know, it's not group, group, group. You know, the individuals come and go. It's a flow. They don't care. They'll get their attention and or often, quite often, money somehow, some way. And uh, they, they just go on, continue on and on doing that. But anyway. <sighs> okay, I think I've made all the points I want to make. I didn't make any notes for this. Can you tell? <laughs> but anyway. Oh, uh, what about you? Have you seen this? I mean, it's, I've seen so many, like, ways, different ways that they do since I've been on YouTube on my original channel. It'll be six years in um, August. And, uh, a couple, yeah. And, uh, I've seen it just, just so many various ways that they do it. But this is another one. And I've seen this before now, uh, years ago, because I, I was first online in 1990. And anything you would think of as a social media very different back then of course but yeah I've seen plenty of that ways people play games so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and if you have any comment you feel comfortable uh, leaving it below this video on YouTube talk to y'all another video bye